Hi everyone. So in this video, we're going to look at the instance of operator in JavaScript. So in JavaScript, instance of is an operator. So what's an operator? An operator is either used for calculations or for logic. The instance of operator will see if an operand, so what we perform the operation on, is an instance of the value we pass. When we use instance of, we place the operand on the left and the value we pass on the right. When we use the instance of operator, it will check whether the operand is an instance of the value we pass, and it will also check the prototype chain of the value. The return value will always be a Boolean, so true or false. Let's start by looking at some examples. We'll start by declaring a variable called pets, and we'll assign to this an object literal. Next, we'll set a property called amount, with a value of 4. Now let's use the instance of operator. We'll say pets instance of string. Next we'll say pets instance of number. Lastly we'll say pets instance of object. So both string and number return false, even though the value stored inside of pets is a number. We're checking the object itself, not the properties inside of the object. As pets is an object, when we go ahead and check whether pets is an instance of object, we get true. Let's look at another example. So we'll declare a variable called greeting, and we'll assign to this the string hello. Next, we check whether greeting is an instance of string. We get false. Now this may surprise you. When we use the instance of operator, we are checking whether it is an instance of the string object. We're not checking the type. When we create the greeting variable, we use a string literal. So it's not actually an instance of the string object. If we wanted this to return true, we would need to do the following. So the instance of operator can be useful when you're working with classes and you want to check whether something is an object of a class. Let's look at an example of this. I will create a class called car. Next, I create a variable called Honda and I initialize this with a new instance of car. Now, I'll see if Honda is an instance of car. This returns true. So I'll wrap up this video with one last example. I'm going to declare a variable called R. And I'll assign to this an array containing 1, 2, and 3. Next, using the instance of operator, I check whether R is an instance of array. It is, so I get true returned. Next, I'll check whether it is an instance of object. I also get true returned. You can expect functions to work in a similar way. The reason for this is that they inherit from object in the prototype chain. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more content.